Well, good morning, everybody. This uh, morning's Sunday. It's the next day after we prepared everything. And we are in the basement, of course, working on this 154. And, of course, the last two videos were on stripping all the drive out of this. And I don't have it cleaned without textbook, but it's pretty close. You know, everything that I needed to have clean is cleaned. Over here, we got everything organized, cleaned all the bolts. I did pound in these uh, phenolic brakes off camera. Wire wheeled all this stuff, got caught up pins. And uh, I made brand new pressure plate bolts. The other ones had been in and out, I'd say several times. And I made some new ones. I had some three quarter inch that was about an eighth of an inch too long. Took them off. So anyway, we're gonna take a minute here and get organized and we'll put this all back together. Okay, everybody. The first thing that's gotta go on, on this operation, is the back flywheel that's brand new. And that goes on that easy. see here if I get the hole actually lined up yeah not bad Oop, put that in gear and that is a steel that's a grade 8 bolt with a steel it's not a nylock it's an actual steel lock nut which are the good ones Well, yeah, let's see here. How are we going to get this done? What do I do here? Let's... That is going to be a pain to get my arm around there. Well, maybe we'll try it this way. Come on. Of course, we got a junk ratchet here. You'd think somebody would be able to make a decent ratchet. This is probably the hardest bolt to get to on the whole job. about all the movement here, but it's tight waters. Yeah. Now when you go to put this main shaft back in, make darn sure that you've got the spider here, the drive, onto this piece, because if you don't, of course you've got to get under the electrical wires. There we go. Don't, you can't get it in later. You gotta have this kind of unbolted. So there we go. That'll slide right in the middle. Now before I do too much here, I'm gonna see how the bolts all line up. On length. Boy, that is just right on the money. Got an eighth of an inch clearance on the back. I like that. So, all I gotta do is get that up where it roughly goes.
Of course, there's so much frame in the area here. You really can't get your hand in to do anything without it being in the way of the camera, but you'll get the idea. Come on. And the nice thing is you don't have to tighten these up yet. If you can just get them in finger tight and uh, that's really all you need to do because actually that's enough for now. We'll, we'll go to doing the back stuff. Because once we get the back pressure plate all hooked up then that'll hold stuff still. You've got something to rotate it by. Now before I put this in, I did put a shot of grease into it. Actually, it took two shots to fill a cavity. So that does have grease on it now. And we'll put that pressure plate right in like so that clutch disc right in. There we go. So now, all we have to do is put the bolts to it. We may have to get in here and do some prying. Stick a punch in this side and pry it out a little bit, which will suck this finger down. Because um, it's not tipped back enough. So I'm going to shut the camera off because I'm going to have to move it. Well, as you can see, we're making good progress. Everything I put together, I took apart. So here's the problem. I was fighting and fighting with this other... I could get all... All of them started on the same side. And, as you can see by that hole right there, it does not line up. And you never start one like that. I mean, it's just, it's just not enough room there. That bolt's gotta be way over here. So we're about a sixteenth of an inch off on the width of those holes. So, what I need to do is go over to the vise and we're going to do a little bit of filing this way and a little bit this way and bring them together, the same amount on both sides probably, and we'll see here if we can't make this into something that'll work. It's just one of those, you know, I mean it's fairly nice made, don't know if it was made in America or wherever, but the uh, stuff isn't exactly perfect, and you run into that. So, anyway, I'm not going to bother you with the file in here. I'm just going to stick it in the vise and file and try it, and I'll keep going till I can get all six bolts in. And then I'll bring you back, and we'll do something, you know, in the forward motion of things. So, sorry about that. Well, <clears throat> I wasn't going to show you this, but I thought I'd show you these lineup pins. I've got a whole whole bucket of them and I use them mainly to put motors in and stuff with but they don't have a head in your way and it's a nice round piece of rod so you can gauge how much you're gaining you know even if you have to take a bolt. If you do it this way you can do it but it's easier if you don't have a head in your way. You can look in by it and whatnot. But anyway <clears throat> I just wanted to show you that and uh, I've got one done. I got, yeah, five more to do. So anyway, we'll talk to you in a minute.
Now, just in case you're curious, the problem when they manufactured this was not in the pressure plate. The pressure plate will bolt on to the old flywheel. They drilled these off only about maybe 64th of an inch on spacing. They're pretty darn close to right. So, anyway, you know, it's one of those little things. A little glitch in the system. But, uh, it, uh, It'll be all right now. We got it fixed. Well, everybody, that filing these out worked. There's another problem with this new replacement is this actual inner part of your surface area here on the outside. I had to go and ruin a perfectly good socket because they, this is about a 16th bigger diameter than the original one. It won't hurt nothing, you know, once it's all together, but it makes it a little challenge. But anyway, it is what it is. It's together. So. This here was the old area that it was working on. This is one of those things that it's absolutely the same both ways. So I'm going to flip it over and put it together the opposite way. Yeah, that works out well. It's on the other side of the track. But anyway, I'm going to put the new area. Maybe I'll put it in from this side here. Come on. I'll tell you, this son of a gun. Better not be cast wrong so that, that won't go in. No, it's gonna go. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's some tight. Okay, it's lined up with the bottom pin. So we'll see now if that bottom pin will go in. This is when you need an arm that bends multiple ways. Look at that. Pretty sure that started in. It did. It's not through all the way, but I bet we can tap it a little bit. It is in. Everything that's high tech here I've done. So I'm gonna bring you back up here. It's not as good a viewpoint probably, but um, you know it is. Yeah, you can see down in there pretty good. But anyway, we gotta put that top cross member in. Actually, I guess I'll do this bottom cotter pin first because I need to get in here from this side. Well, maybe I need a light. There we go. Kind of a tricky little spot to get into. There you are. So. With that like that. See here if we can't reach in there with a long screwdriver and bend that. Oh, 
It's pretty hard to recommend that, I guess. There we go. Got it now. So. I like it. The grease fitting's up. And I may have to change that. We'll see here if I can get that through that hole right there. There. No, I gotta. Well, I gotta modify that. That isn't gonna. They all had them on the bottom, and everybody says to put them on the bottom, but they gave you a hole right there to grease it through. So it's gotta be straight up and down. So that's no problem. I'm gonna shut you off, and I'll change that grease fitting, and I'll be back. Well, I changed that over. I had another six millimeter straight in the other other room. So, that is gonna go just like so. Yeah, let's you can grease that right through the top. Huh, that's odd there. Everybody said you couldn't grease them if you didn't have them on the bottom. Maybe that's on an older style. Don't know. Anyway, come on, there we go. When you're pushing up against lock washer, it holds a nut crooked and makes it hard to start, but that's all right. Perseverance sometimes. Somewhere up, I see it right there. Beautiful. I'd hate to have been the guy that had to do this eight hours a day in the factory. But she goes together. Oh. 
Come on. There we go. So, we got them started. Beautiful. So that's pretty well all set back there. We'll put our big bolt through. Sure, that's up enough. Hmm. I can't believe that one tapping through there. Well, gotta get a regular buyer, I guess. Oh, don't want to do that. Don't go through fire. Let's Do some studying here, find out what's going on. I'm gonna turn you off. Well, <laughs> I put a uh, smaller hammer onto it and tried it a second time after I shut the camera off. And I guess it was camera shy, it uh, went right in. So, anyway, I guess that's the best way to do it right there. This isn't the correct pin. The pin that was in here, it broke right after I bought the machine. And that's what I put in because I had a long enough bolt that I could get it in and the threads, it's actually bottomed out on the threads and it's not quite over there tight. So, you know, there's nothing binding, even though it looks like it's tight, it's just right. And we'll see if the clutch works. It appears it does. Well, don't know. Huh. Boy, that looks like that's enough. But I'm going to be so disappointed if I got to take this back apart again. Oh, 
Well, it'll be interesting, I guess. I'm gonna put the front bolt in. It's the only thing left to do. And, uh, and tighten up them other ones. Well, I put that front together without the camera on. It was just one of those things. It was kind of easier to do. Yeah, I was, uh... So we gotta put this back piece on. And it was put on with the bolts on the front last time. So I'm assuming that's how it goes. that I know that thing will run on there easy because I wire wheeled everything this morning I worked for about an hour, getting everything all wire wheeled. And thought this was gonna to go together in a matter of minutes. And so much for easy as pie, yeah? Well, yeah, let's see here. Missing a wrench. sets of wrenches and it's a good thing because I never can keep track of them. I guess we'll have to go open end on that end. Well, maybe we'll go this route here. Yeah, turn it this way. I would imagine probably that wrench is under the mower deck somewhere. I probably got kicked. Alright, that one's tight. Yeah, let's see, get that one out of the sides. That's how I took it off. These are fine thread bolts, so they take a little minute. Well, maybe we'll go through the other way.
Uh, let's see if we can <sighs> give that a little bit of a tweak. Right. What do you think? problem there after I turned off the camera the bolt that clamped the back I guess it's a transmission drive it's like a flywheel that bolt that drove that I snapped that up quick with that little 3 8 drive impact and I stretched the bolt enough that it hit when the thing turned around so I had to take that bolt out and I replaced it with a new one it was a grade 8 bolt, too. That's why I wasn't afraid to use the impact on it. I didn't think it would ever stretch it, but it did. It damn near broke it. And uh, anyway, kind of a good thing it happened, because otherwise I probably would have had it break somewhere as and been out of commission. But anyway, um, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed. Keep safe with all this craziness. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, keep yourselves out of trouble and keep busy. That's the best thing I can tell you. Talk to you later.